Hello my dear student, this is Sundar Ravindranathan here. How is everybody doing? Hope all you guys are doing super awesome. How, hey guys, how, by the way, how are you guys doing on your exams? Are you really writing your exams well? Alright, I hope uh, the revision camp was of much use to you, whoever attended it. And uh, the videos that we are currently posting to help you score more marks are also proving to be beneficial. Alright, so let us know. Uh, you know if it's really helping you guys and we hope so because we put in all our efforts just to make sure you guys win all right okay now i hope you guys uh, got benefited from part uh, four the first session of part four where i was focusing more on the minerals we dealt with four minerals namely iron ores <coughs> manganese bauxite and mica didn't we so we discussed uh, where are the iron ore uh, fields were there, iron ore mines were there, iron ore exporting points and we also found out what all the different areas where manganese, bauxite and mica were found. And I also gave you a glimpse of what is the advantages, what are the uses of these you know, uh, minerals, is it not? So now uh, that session was more on minerals and energy resources. Minerals we have dealt with, now today needless to say I am going to deal with the energy resources. So what are the different energy resources that are there? Okay, we will discuss every single thing now. I hope you guys are ready and all geared up. Awesome. <clears throat> Let us get in. Right, so now type of map, what are we going to deal with? What is the structure of this session? Type of map questions. Okay, we will also discuss what are the power resources uh, starting with coal. What are the coal, where are the coal mines present? What are the natural gas reserves? Okay, typically natural gas reserves will be near the sea, right? Let's discuss everything. And thermal power plants, what are the areas, locations in India where thermal power plants are there? And then we will also discuss where are the nuclear power plants present in India. And <clears throat> fifth one, I will naturally tell you, you know, like I do for every session, some sample questions on all these. So now I hope uh, you guys know that we are, we are going to discuss a lot of things. You got to remember everything. Guys, my uh, suggestion is very simple. For everywhere, what, are, what is more important? You need to know the location, which state it is, what exactly is the name of that place. And to remember them, you need to either create a mnemonic or a story out of it. If there are five places where thermal power plants are present, create a story out of it. A very, very creative way then you will never forget okay or create a mnemonic out of it so that you don't really forget it's very essential that's the way you got to deal with the map done guys super let us start so what are the different types of map questions uh, generally in geography you will have only three different kind of kind of questions identification of the place location of the place and labeling it these are the three different questions that are possibly uh, gonna come Identification, location and labeling. Clear? Right. Let me move on. Power resources. So what are the power resources that are there and where are they? Let us start one after the other. So these are the different power uh, resources for us. Number one, you know, coal. Coal mines. Where are the coal mines? We will discuss this. Number two, <clears throat> the oil fields. Where are they? Where do we get these oil fields? More typically from the, uh, you know, the sea belt, right? Let's find out. Three, nuclear power plants. Where are they found? Right? Where have we installed all the nuclear power plants in India? For the gas reservoirs. Natural gas reservoirs, which is very important. Okay? And five, the thermal power plants. Okay? So these are the five things that we are going to deal with in today's session. Be ready, all get up. Here we go, guys. Let's start with the first one, which is coal mines. All right, this is a major, major resource for power for us. Okay, similar to hydroelectricity, this is also very important for us. Uh, coal mines, number one, West Bengal, Rani Ganj. West Bengal, Rani Ganj is a very typical, you know, important area. Number two, Naiveli, Tamil Nadu. Here, over here, Naiveli, Tamil Nadu. Number three, Bokharo. Steel plant we know, similar, right? The same location we have coal mine. 
So, number three, Bokaro in Jharkhand. And number four, Talcha in Odisha. Here it is. So, now what are those four regions? Rani Ganj in West Bengal, right? Neveli in Tamil Nadu, Bokaro in Jharkhand, and Talcha in Odisha. Four areas where uh, the major coal mines are present. Yep, guys, I want you to really stamp this information. And as I said, create a mnemonic or a very interesting story, put it creatively, and then try and remember it. Register it in your mind that way. You will be able to recollect it whenever you want to. Yeah? Awesome. So now, where are the oil fields? Uh, so very eager to know where are we? Where are we getting oil? Do we have really oil fields in India? Most of the time, one uh, perception that we have, or in fact assumption, is we get oil from probably the Middle East. There are certain oil fields in India as well. Number one, dig boy in Assam. Here it is, dig boy in Assam. Number two, Gujarat is a major source. Many of them will be in Gujarat. You will find that. Kalol in Gujarat. Here it is, Ankleshwar in Gujarat again, border. Okay, now two oil fields in the sea belts of the Arabian Sea. One is Basain, the other is Mumbai High. Basain and Mumbai High, both of them around the sea belt of Maharashtra, Gujarat. That is the Arabian Sea Belt. Are you guys clear? So typically, where do we find the oil file, oil fields? Dig boy in Assam, number one. Number two, two uh, you know oil fields are present in Gujarat. One is Kalol, yes, and two is Ankleshwar. We have seen the locations. <clears throat> Ankleshwar is typically in the border. Kalol is in the uh, middle of Gujarat, of course. And uh, two oil fields around the sea belt, okay, uh, covering the Gujarat Maharashtra border, the Arabian Sea Belt. They are Basain and Mumbai High. Are you guys clear? So these are regions where we have the oil fields present. Hope this is going to be useful for all of you. So see one place where I am not focusing a lot is making you remember it. I think I have spoken a lot. There are simple ways. You just need to creatively find a way. Right? To relate all the five and create a mnemonic or a story out of it. Right? Create the words Dig Boy, Kalol, Ankleshwar, Basain and Mumbai High. And create an innovative story out of it. Which will relate it to oil field. The story should have oil field in it. Easily you will be able to remember. Yeah? So in case you guys are finding some difficulty around this. Let me know. We can always figure something out in WhatsApp. Don't worry. I will help you. Yep guys. Now, natural gas reservoirs. Where are our natural gas reservoirs present? Four places. That is typically the Krishna Godavari Basin. Here. <coughs> yeah. And two. <coughs> Again, same Mumbai High. Where the oil fields are there, right? The same place where we have the gas reservoir. Same Mumbai High. Gulf of Cambay. That's in Gujarat. Gulf of Cambay, that's in Gujarat. And four, A and N, Andaman Nicobar Islands. Andaman Nicobar Islands. Four places where we have our natural gas reservoirs. One is Krishna Godavari Basin, around the belt of Tamil Nadu, towards Andhra Pradesh, typically in Tamil Nadu. Two, Mumbai High, which is in the Arabian Sea Belt, where we had the oil field also. This is more on the gas reservoir. And number three, Gulf of Cambay, typically in Gujarat. And number four, A and N, which is Andaman Nicobar Islands. Right? So, guys, these are four places where we have our natural gas reservoirs. Clear with it? Yeah. Look at the locations. Be very clear about the locations. Krishna Godavari Basin, because these are whenever it's a basin, it's very generic in nature. You need to figure out where is the location. That's the reason we are showing the location for you. Number two is the Arabian Sea Belt, Mumbai High. Mumbai High. Number three, right? <clears throat> In Gujarat, you have the Gulf of Cambay. Gulf of Cambay. And four, 
Andaman Nicobar Islands. Clear? I have I am re-emphasizing so that it gets registered in your minds very easily and clearly. Done. Thermal power plants. Where do we have all the thermal power plants in India? What are these places? Curious? Here we go. Number one, <clears throat> Ramagundam in Telangana. Here it is. Right? Number two, Namrup in Assam. So guys, do you all of you do, you know, does, did all of you know that there was a thermal power plant in Assam? Namrup. It's a, it's a important power plant in Assam too. Number three, MP, Madhya Pradesh, Singroli. Singroli in Madhya Pradesh. Border, around the border, near the border. Singroli. And number four, Nashik. No one will forget Nashik. Right? Why? We print the currency notes there, didn't we? So, four, Nashik in Maharashtra. And five, Vijaywada, Andhra Pradesh. So, five regions. Okay, where we have our thermal power plants. So, number one, Ramagundam, Telangana. Number two, Namrup in Assam. Number three, Singroli in Madhya Pradesh. Keep looking at uh, the locations, guys, as I speak. Number four, Nashik in Maharashtra. Number five, Vijaywada in Andhra Pradesh. These are the five locations for thermal power plants. Clear, guys? Right. Now, nuclear power plants. All these are energy resources, is it not? So, where do we have our nuclear power plants? Start with Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu because that is the very oldest one. Yeah, there it is. Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu. Right? So, here it is. Kalpakam. <coughs> Kakrapara in Gujarat. Border. Tarapur in Maharashtra. Again, border. Okay. Naraura in UP. Right? Naraura in UP. Kaiga in Karnataka. Kaiga in Karnataka. And Ravad Bata in Rajasthan. Ravad Bata in Rajasthan. So, guys, I repeat. To start with, we have Kalpakam, Tamil Nadu. Number two, Kakrapara in Gujarat. Number 3, Tarapur in Maharashtra. Number 4, Naraura in UP, Uttar Pradesh. Number 5, Kaiga in Karnataka. And number 6, Ravat Bata in Rajasthan. Six places where we have our nuclear power plants. Okay? Have a look at the locations and the names very clearly. So now we are discussing so many regions. Is it possible for you to remember all of them at a time? Don't try that at all. One instance when you are doing your revision, just focus on one thing. I would always say, focus only on, uh, say for 10 minutes, focus only on iron ores. I am just giving an example. Then once you are done, focus on manganese, second revision. At a time, focus only on one. It will help you register and remember well. Okay, slowly once you do, because every uh, field, a mine or a field or a power plant, multiple locations are there. It's very essential you try and remember one thing at a time and then slowly over a period of time you will consolidate. In a single, a complete day's division, you will be able to remember everything. Okay, you have to recollect it. But at a time when you do, a, say today if I am for the first hour, I will focusing, probably I will focus on only one thing. I will not try and have 20, 25 names to my mind. That would create a lot of complication. Avoid that. Yep, guys. Awesome. So what are possible questions? What kind of questions can come in? <clears throat> so locate and label the following items on the given map with appropriate symbols. Right? Rani Ganj. Okay, guys, Rani Ganj, where is it? First thing I discussed, the first name was that. Is it not? West Bengal, is it not? So, Rani Ganj is in West Bengal. Krishna Godavari Basin, didn't I speak about it? Third is Ankleshwar, Gujarat. Yes? 
and fourth vijayawada andhra pradesh what are they known for you should also tell that yeah so typically these are the four regions rani ganj west bengal ankleshwar in uh, i'm sorry you know ankleshwar in gujarat krishna godavari basin and vijayawada in andhra pradesh these kind of questions are very much possible and this is how the question patterns have been in the previous years so keep preparing again i repeat at a time don't try and stuff all the names okay if you are reading minerals and energy resources you have almost 30 to 40 names to remember don't try and stuff all of them to your minds at a time probably in 30 minutes in a slot of 30 minutes try and remember only one again after 30 minutes to go for the second one second one so if you are once you are focusing on iron ore then focus on manganese in the second revision third bauxite mica similarly here once you can focus on coal mines then you can focus on thermal power plants and so on i hope all you guys are clear what i am trying to emphasize here yeah awesome <clears throat> over to homework now so what homework it is so again features are marked in the map identify these features with the help of the information given and write the correct names okay on those lines marked against them in the map an oil field here i will not tell you which oil field it is the location is clear and so simple number 2 a thermal power plant oh i'm sorry a thermal power plant and 3 a coal mine so simple right it's a homework so i can't give you the answer i know you guys will do it right now and type in the comments box is it not because it's so clear and easy for you guys awesome <clears throat> guys make use of all these sessions we are spending a lot of time and energy just for you okay wishing you the very best in your exams guys and uh, before your exams i'm going to come multiple times okay uh, complete the noia map section as well we will also do a full syllabus quiz on social studies how would that sound yeah let me plan this yeah okay so until i meet you guys in the next session this is myself sundar ravindranathan signing off guys have a wonderful time prepare well all the best for every exam that you write rock and roll bye bye